Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Immortal Life. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. On the way to 7,000, closer every day. It's actually amazing how quick the channel's growing by comparison to previously. But anyway, I've just been minding my own business running around planting plants, you know, the farmer life. I ended up getting to 68,000 as well as I've been to a few of the left. It's still ages until these are maxed. I need to get stance up really because that's sword damage. I also need to level the sword up. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just start with the messages. So I ended up five-starring uh, Wen Tian just as I was planting plants. You know, you visit everybody once a day, get their gift over with for the day, get their thing up, and he ended up hitting five stars. So you are the one who saved my life and the sect itself. Whether it is the will of fate or providence, meeting you, knowing you and working alongside you has been my greatest fortune. Thank you for giving me your absolutely wonderful shadow figure, which I will immediately put up, of course. It's almost like Pokemon. I've almost caught them all. Join the gang. <laughs> there you go. Now you can watch me sleep too. We're going to continue on the three quests we were doing last episode. And I'm really hoping that once I finish these and I get through that last uh, talking to people quest for Wen Tian, it will be when the new realms unlock. So that, that's, that's what I'm aiming for here. I want new places to go. And also they changed how this chick works. You can't actually use anything except the, her own currency now. And they also added more to it. Not that I need any of it, but I'm glad they have all of the bloody gifts here now. That makes a difference. I may actually get them. Increases your max step. What? Well, I fucked up there. Hang on. I know I can hand some of these in. Damn it, it changed! Fuck. Okay. Beginning of summer, that's why. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I had everything on me for the last month to get all the orders done, but I only managed to hand in two. Oh, fine. Red chili, cucumber, animal fruit, purple eggplant. Someone remember that. I'm not going to. I've already forgotten it. No, chilies. Eggplant. Cucumber. Anima. Okay. We're good. That's going to take a while to grow. I want to be honest, that's going to take a while to grow. Anyway, quests. We're leaving. Wei Hong, what do you want? I'm really frustrated. Can you please support me and take my side? Oh god, what now? Do you need more money? The weakest of the sec. Today I was talking to Li Meng Ching and she started asking which Mystic Realms I've visited so far. I told her that I was still exploring the mine in the valley, so the Mystic Realms you've all been visiting are a bit out of reach. She just started laughing at me, saying I was lagging so far behind everyone else. The mines were probably as far as I'd get for practicing cultivation. Then she started spouting off a bunch of stupid nicknames. Mine Master, Bat Beater, Spirit Spooker. <laughs> After that she smugly declared that if I acknowledge her seniority, she'd take me to explore some Mystic Realms, can you believe it? She's only been to a few Mystic Realms and she's acting like this. Don't you think she's getting a little too arrogant of late? Oh, look, man. Might is right in these worlds. Craft something that's going to help your cultivation, man. That's easy for you to say. I've got a lot on my plate. Once I can actually focus on my cultivation and not worry about everything else, exploring a few Mystic Realms wouldn't be a problem. Don't just talk, walk. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm a bit aggressive today. Woke up and chose violence. I haven't quite grasped them, so once I've sorted out the inside I got, I'll definitely start cultivating with them in mind. Wait, weren't we just talking about how Li Meng Ching is acting? Why are we suddenly criticizing me instead? While she's certainly out of line here, you should also be taking your own problems and cultivation seriously if she's so easily making such a mockery of you. Otherwise, you'll surely wind up the tail of us all. Damn, dude! Yo! Chill! Wait, so how is this suddenly a problem I have to handle? She's the one at fault here. All right, you're giving me good advice, even if it hurts. To forge iron, you have to be strong too. I'll make sure to prioritize my cultivation more often so she doesn't have any grounds to mock me anymore. There you go, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. I mean, the words are a bit harsh, but that's the spirit. Mr. Jing. The return of the divine carpenter, Jesus. Can I trouble you for something? What's on your mind? A few days ago, Brother Wei borrowed a measuring tool from me. I need that tool now, but he still has it. Could I ask you to get it back from me? I mean, okay. Oh, he sent you to get this brother monarch. I'm done with it, so here you go. Honestly, though, I didn't think he really needed it. We worked together a lot, and I've never once seen him use this to measure anything. You're not saying that just to excuse not giving it back, are you? 
Do I look like someone to do that? If you don't believe me, ask him yourself. Way is telling the truth. Normally, I don't need measuring tools for the work I'm doing here. Then how are you able to repair everything? It's nothing particularly amazing. The walls and roofs of most of the buildings were lost, but the foundations are still there. Mapping out their size and location. If I just focus on that foundation, eventually the layout for the building that once stood on it will present itself, including its height. So as long as I observe the foundation, I can more or less rebuild what it was designed to support. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Well then, now that I've had the tool back, I should get back to work. Well, fair enough, man. Fair enough. To forge the body. You are way too fry, brother smiling. A light packet sends you sprawling. You really should exercise more. I'll have you know that work in the fields is pretty demanding physically. Mm -hmm. And don't you use all sorts of artifacts and spells when you farm? <laughs> it's been a while since you really did it by hand, I bet. You don't know me. How about joining me for a workout? Yeah, why not? Right, we'll start from here and run to the riverside of the ferry stop, then run back here. I'll see you at the finish line. What? I could have beat you. Well, could you be slower? Sister Lynn, I didn't see you anywhere that whole run. She's cheating. Why would I? I'm not a cheater, you know. So what about you? Did you use any speed boosting items? Or the <laughs> yeah. No. I did. Yeah. Spiritual cultivation is well and good, but never forget to cultivate the physical self too. In my opinion, your whole body is a tool that can benefit from the art of refining. Whether you're tapping into its hidden potential or learning how to use your body's strength skillfully, it's all just as important as spellcraft. Mastering such techniques is useful for both refining and cultivating. Alright, let's call it a day and head back. Alright, 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 fair. That's fair. Is, is that stats? I feel like that's stats. Permanently increase your stance. Yes. Fuck yes. Done. Okay. Traces of fellow members. This is the big one. My apologies that they feel I've been so distant with them. I hope they can understand my feelings on this. Well, if they can't, I can. So you're all good, mate. Don't even worry about it. Even so, I do keep a certain distance intentionally as there are still questions unanswered. Do you suppose it's something to do with the past sect? Yes, but I cannot tell you what it is specifically. All I can tell you is that what I'm searching for will most likely be found at Chuyun Peak. Speaking of which, do you know why that peak was nearly leveled? What? How would I know? How could I possibly know? It was located deeper in the range and was very sparsely populated, even though some sect members chose to reside there. Zeon Peak, however, is located directly above the ferry stop and has a much larger populace living both on it and below it. On the day of that calamity, I think the peak and ferry stop were meant to take far more damage than they did. However, as the meteorites began to fall, our Grandmaster ordered as many disciples as he could to gather on the peak, which drew most of the meteorites to it. Perhaps it was this order that ensured the peak and fairy stop took mostly superficial damage. While that peak was almost completely destroyed. And so I have been searching around the ruins of that peak in hopes of finding some trace of our fellow disciples. And yet against all odds I have survived. That must mean there's something I need to do. And I didn't let my guard down until then. Please bear with me. Fair enough. I mean, I don't want to rush you or anything, but I'd like a new realm. Sir, please. You know... Just a little one. Something! Now, something I haven't checked is the promotion thing. I'm sure there's a new... Yeah, I can get to Elder. Let's go! Promotion, I am an Elder. Fear me. <laughs> wow. These people... Leveled up quick, fuck. Oh, look, he really is the lowest. Oh, that's adorable. He'll get there. But all these people hit foundation with the beginning of the update, I believe. Fucking elder, watch out. 200 until the next one. Spreading branches. We'll get there. Oh my. That was many quests. <laughs> Just a quest a day at this point. Now I think I've almost finished all of the new lines of questing. It's just the main quest. I'm sure it keeps going. I'm sure of it. Okay, I need to replace all these with cucumbers. Well, all four, really.
Okay, Rise of the Grand Mech... Oh, look! This quest is back! Are you serious? If that's what happened, that means everyone at the peak sacrificed themselves to save the fairy stuff. Oh, God. I see your stance makes more sense now, Brother Shi. And I can understand those feelings after such a tragedy, finding solace would be nearly impossible, let alone among strangers. No, I want to help you search for those missing disciples. As I said, Wei Hung and I often search for materials among the ruins. We will keep a closer eye on the debris we sift through in the hopes of helping you find what you're looking for. We'll be counting on your sharp eyes too. Okay. Thumbs up. No problem. Fuck, I should have done... I, okay, alright, yeah, fine. I should have done those two quests first, but it's fine. We can do the mysterious carpenter. Feeling weak again. Don't worry about it, it's just that after each repair session it always takes me a bit to get my energy back. Really? I've never seen you doing it, so I thought you hired someone to do it. <laughs> so what do you think of that nameless craftsman, Brother Mono? Are you implying that crafter is some sort of manifestation of yours? Come to think of it, I haven't mentioned this to anyone else before. If you truly want to know more about it, come find me later and I'll explain matters to you. Okay, everyone's just being straight up mysterious now. It seems like you're actually very interested in this nameless craftsman monarch, so I'll tell you the truth of it. He is actually a puppet that my father left to me. His construction ideas are derived from my own thoughts and his strength from the spiritual power accumulated within his frame. And that's awesome. When he gives his all for the work he's doing, three-tenths of that power is coming from me. So long as there is sufficient power to keep him going, he can work non-stop till his task is done. That means I have to sustain myself during the process, however. So after each repair, I need some time to recover my physical strength. His stamina is amazing to be able to empower it to construct those buildings so quickly. I'm going to end up maxing this guy's favour just from complimenting him. Regarding the puppet, there's another little secret. His appearance is modelled after my father. Fair enough. I'd like to hear more about you and your hometown. I'll make sure to talk about my past a bit more with you. I'm not intentionally keeping secrets. Fair enough, man. I like you. You're cool. I like that they're actually giving him a story now, because like, otherwise he was, no offence, a useless character. Hey, yo, where you going? The Rise of the Grand Mechanists. Thanks to your advice and inspiration, I've decided I'll try and integrate the lessons I've learned from the other sect members and find my own cultivation path forward. I figured it out. What did you figure out? Brother Earl's path involves combining work and rest as circumstances determine. As an engineer, then, the most sensible thing for me is to use my mechanical skills to tackle the things I lack the personal strength to handle. Combining that with Sister G's method of investing in more efficient resources, I can create a super powerful puppet. <laughs> From there I can work in Brother Young's insights for enhancing my techniques to enhance its attack power, allow me to conquer any mystic realm easily. You see, with this course in mind, my own level of cultivation doesn't matter at all, and once I've swept through even the most dangerous of the mystic realms, even Li Meng Qing won't have anything to say against me. Don't you think my cultivation plan is clear and effective? <sighs> Don't overthink it, my plan's perfect. With enough elixirs on hand, all I have to do is watch as my puppet defeats every monster it faces. But before then, I do have another favour to ask. Whether it's the advanced ores I need for such a powerful puppet or the ingredients for so many life-preserving elixirs, I can't gather them myself. Could you help me get them? My man. Perhaps I can simply accompany you. Please don't talk like Li Meng Ching. I'm begging you. Just help me this one time. Alright, fine. Fine. Ten health elixirs, three loam sandstones, two mirror sands. I definitely have all that, I think. Okay, messages. Monarch, gee, Yahoo and I have something to talk about. Could you please come to the pavilion? Also, don't tell Brother Shi. Okay, please don't tell me we're staging an intervention. I have something to tell you. Is it something about your family? Yes, that's why I wanted to tell you this news right away. I've contacted my parents. Oh, congrats. Ting Fung the Wanderer was able to help put me in contact with them. At first I couldn't believe it, but then I received a letter from my father and I recognised his handwriting right away. My father said that they are far away from here, even the currency they use is different. In this land they've settled in, powerful machines are used to build and some of the buildings can be very tall. So much so people use other means other than stairs to reach the upper floors. It seems they didn't write to me before because this land is not always friendly to outsiders and they were afraid of being found and expelled by local authorities. Their hard work has finally won them acceptance and they've settled down there but they can't travel freely from that land and return at will. They want me to go there and find them. 
Are you leaving us then? Don't worry, I won't leave. I still want to stay here and rebuild together with all of you. Now that I know my parents' whereabouts and the life they have there, a heavy burden has been lifted from my heart. I will send them letters so they don't need to worry about me. I believe that one day we'll meet again. When that time comes, I'd like to introduce you to them too. Sure, mate. Absolutely no worries. There you are. Take your shit. Oi. There you go. I still need to make some preparations, so please wait for my good news. Oh, look, man. Two quests for Yang. Lucky day. Boy, do I have things to talk to you about, sir. Let's do the side quest first. I see, so Wei is getting up to some mischief again, only a bit dangerous this time. Don't worry, when he goes to the Mystic Realm, I'll trail him in secret and keep an eye on him. <laughs> He probably shouldn't. He's not going to uh, blossom as a cultivator if you just hold his hands. But hey, what do I know? She's concerned. You're here. Is it related to Brother Xi? It's not something obvious or likely too serious. It's just that something has been coming up repeatedly in our conversations with each other. And we all realise something you may not have. If you've watched carefully, surely you've noticed that Brother Xi's attitude towards us is that of subtle suspicion. He doesn't seem to fully open up to us except for a few individuals. Although he has been teaching us spellcraft and working with us as we try to restore the sect, we can understand that he can't simply let go of what happened to the sect he knew. After all, how easy can it be to trust a group of strangers after such an unnatural catastrophe? So Yao Hua and I are planning to organise a meeting between all of us and Brother Xi in the hopes of laying any reservations he has to- Oh, for fuck's sake. I told you, we don't need an intervention. Ugh. We want to make a truth bell. It rings if someone tells a lie. Okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Whatever. I don't support this idea, but I have literally no choice. Three Verdant Lees. I... I'm pretty sure those are legendary rank items, but I definitely have them. Verdant Leaves. Verdant Lees. I should probably store. I don't need to store these, but... Why not? Oh god, I have too much crap. These ones. Spirit of Wood? Fuck. Verdant Leaves. Done. 15 of them. Yep, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, let me give you the items you asked for directly in front of the guy that we're going to blindside with an intervention. There you go. You have all the materials we need. You may leave the task of making the bell to me. Once we've spoken with Brother Shi, I'll send you a paper crane. Then it'll be your turn to speak with him. Okie doke. You're the boss. I just want the realms. But it's fine. I'm patient. Ah, message! You were right to worry about Wei's venture into that mystic realm. I've spoken with Dr. Sun. Unfortunately, he isn't seriously injured, but what happened in there is something we should discuss in person. Oh, fuck. What now? What happened? You're here. About Brother Wei, let me tell you about what happened in the mystic realm first. Seems this time Brother Wei decided to bring a powerful puppet meant for fighting for his attempted foray into a mystic realm, just as you said. The first few fights went well and he began to advance more quickly through it, becoming a little too confident, perhaps. He actually guided the puppet straight into the heart of the Mystic Realm and found himself surrounded by a swarm of monsters. Uh, that sounds like him. He was well supplied with elixirs, so I stood back to allow him and his puppet to fight alone as he hoped. I thought he could surely sustain himself with those even while guarding the puppet. But just as the largest of the monsters pounced, his mechanical puppet suddenly exploded. There was no warning at all and Brother Way was knocked unconscious. While I'm no engineer, cultivation is cultivation. I suspect between the materials he used and the amount of power compressed within it to create the core, the puppet's core simply couldn't handle such intense combat and exploded from the strain. Brother Way's ability to invent machines is surpassed only by his ability to create accidents. Still, fortune favours the reckless sometimes. The explosion itself killed many of the monsters, while Way himself was caught only in the shockwave. Even so, I'd be lying to say if I wasn't afraid for him. Thanks to you alerting me to his plans, I was close at hand and able to get him out before more monsters arrived. Otherwise, things would have been much more dire. But this method of his just isn't sustainable. His intelligence is obvious and he's quick-witted, which are both great advantages in cultivation. Instead of using that to advance his studies, however, he's been devoting it to actively circumvent studying. He looks for shortcuts and constantly tries risky and unconventional methods in the hopes of quick results. 
We've all tried to advise him several times about this reckless course, but while he hears us, he doesn't listen to us. By the way, he's always trusted your guidance more than any of ours since the day of the disaster. Please speak to him when he wakes up and convince him to stop chasing a dangerous course. All right, man. I mean, he's up. He's right here, but yeah. How's your injury? I'm fine now. I just got knocked out by the shockwave. I really embarrassed myself this time. Even in a mystic realm, I managed to mess things up. It's like the heavens are jealous of my talent. Mei Hong, that's enough joking around. You could have been killed. So I think a little self-reflection is called for. All right, I admit I was wrong. You're right. I've been relying too much on tools. Although the puppet I created could fight its way through the mystic realm, I myself couldn't. Any time a monster went for me, I had to get out the way. I couldn't even do anything to help my own creation fight. All that work you did gathering me all those materials, and my own work in creating the puppet, it was all ultimately a waste. I tried my best to refine a powerful core that could still be controlled, but even after all that it still went berserk. Being knocked unconscious by my own puppet practically blowing up in my face is a huge disgrace as an engineer. But this time I'm certain it was just bad luck, oh for God's sakes. Brother way, luck is not the problem here, it's your taking shortcuts that led to this. Taking shortcuts? Where'd you get that idea? I've absolutely given thought to all that talk about personal cultivation you and everyone else went on about. But the problem I'm facing is too difficult to simply meditate away without a solution. Wow, these responses though. From where I stand, your inventions are created by you rising to the challenge engineering presents to you. And you've mastered it because of the difficulty, not despite it. Face yourself as you do engineering and confront the challenges there the same way you do on your work table. That is very good advice. Well, when you put it that way, I can't really argue back, can I? Maybe my mindset toward cultivation really is the problem here. Please allow me some time to calm down and think things through. Alright, good talk, good talk, good talk. Where is my main quest? Okay, so, turns out there's four new spells, but two of them I can't get, Thousand Swords and Thunderhammer, because they need the quick time event fishes, the new legendary ones, and honestly, I can't be fucked doing that, so we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get Sandstorm and Splashing Vortex, go. Oh, bugger, I need Precious Coral, okay, well, I can get this one. Level one? Oh, yeah. Okay, I I have that, but I actually need more curved bones. What a world. Wait, at the very least, we can turn this off and just directly swap them because this is so much better. So much better. Basic power 260. Very nice. Just needs another level. Oh my god, I don't have enough precious coral. What a world. Freaking rare drops, man. Fine. I'll have to farm. Damn it! All oh, right, let uh, let's go. Giawa, brother, we've all spoken with brother Shi. Why don't you go talk to him as well? Okie doke. Finally. I've been doing a lot of farming, 91,000, fucking hell. Just gonna get there with farming at this rate. Confession. Ah, so now you've also come. Everyone else has spoken with me. To be honest, I feel quite conflicted inside. I've often wondered in recent days if a person could suddenly lose a group of like-minded individuals, only to immediately meet a completely new set of such people. As long as we're still on the journey, we will encounter companions along the way. You're right, I think it's time for me to confess everything to you. The fact you are standing here before me is the best proof of that. I need some time to sort out how I want to say this. Oh, come on, man! Oh, I'm patient, I'm patient. Text message! Come to the main hall. It's time to explain everything to everyone, okay? Good thing I'm right here. Oh my, it's been a long time since I've seen everyone gathered like this. Well, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen us all gather up like this. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Wow, there's so many of us now. I didn't even notice. 
This is the first time Brother Shi has called us all together. He must have something very important to discuss. Oh my, I'm actually feeling a bit nervous. We we're waiting for you to arrive. Go and let Brother Shi know we're here. I think he can see us, to be fair. Let us begin with the important matters immediately then. I gathered you all here for there is something I need to say to all of you. I was raised by the sect and have been practicing the Tao arts under their guidance since I was young. The sect was not simply a sect to which I belonged. This was my home and family. And then in mere moments it was taken from me. The peaks nearly destroyed of my fellow disciples gone without a trace. Only I was left barely surviving in a world suddenly empty of all I'd known. All of you worked to save me and by right you should be my brothers and sisters but I could not let my guard down around you. In the spirit of honesty I've been testing all of you since I woke. As someone who witnessed the destruction of his sect, I must remain cautious. I cannot deny that in the darker moments, I sometimes wonder if you were the ones who brought this calamity down on the sect. I understand that feeling. As I spend more and more time with you, I have come to realise that in spirit, you are the same as those I lost. Each of you wish to join the sect for different reasons, but our beliefs share a common thread. I know you are all people trustworthy and true, but I worry if I should involve you in uncovering the source of this disaster. To this day, I still haven't discovered the source of the calamity that struck the sect. As a survivor of the sect that once was, it is my duty and responsibility both to uncover the truth and rebuild what was lost. All of you, however, are not bound by that obligation. There is no way to tell what lies ahead for me, and I feared if I told you all the truth, it would be inviting a second loss of those I care about. Yes, we all want to uncover the truth. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Introduce the evil sect. Let's go. I'm truly fortunate to have met people so akin to those I'd lost within the same moments of realising that loss. Yeah, you, you had it rough, bro. I'm grateful that fate's been so kind. Yeah, okay. Kind is a, is a word for it. So, I gathered you all here to reveal something I've been hiding since the day I first saw all of you at my bedside. Have you ever wondered why I was the only one who survived? Is it because you're so powerful compared to us? The sect have many elders of great skill, but they're no longer here. The reason I survived that day was because of you, Monarch smiling. What? That makes no sense. He was with us the entire time. We were talking as the disaster began. He was suddenly protected by a strange light that surrounded us and allowed us to safely flee. To lay another mystery to rest, it was I who used my power to protect all of you that day. When the heavens and earth suddenly changed and destruction began to rain down on us, we were summoned by our Grandmaster to the peak. We were instructed to use our arts to draw the meteorites to fall there rather than on the other peak. I was intending to join my fellows on Shui Yun Peak, but en route I encountered Brother Monarch, whose anxious expression caught my attention. At the time, I did not yet know you, Brother Monarch, but it seemed you knew me and were delighted to have found me. You begged me to go to the square before the main hall and save the aspirin cultivators gathered there. I was about to ask why you weren't doing so yourself when you pushed a powerful artifact into my hands, saying it could save the sect and then urged me to keep it safe. What? I was immediately suspicious and hesitant to accept it, but then you said a phrase I often use in binding oaths. Upon my name as a Guiyun sect disciple, you may place your trust in me. I was shocked to hear my own words coming out of another's mouth, but the urgency of the situation allowed for no further questioning. So I nodded and accepted the artifact, and then you departed on your sword. By this time, the peak had already been struck several times by the meteorite, so I changed course as requested to shield everyone and allowed you all to escape. Once I was certain you were well en route to the ferry stop and safe, I began to head for the other peak as I'd originally planned. At that moment, I was str suddenly struck by a large surge of spiritual energy and became trapped in a cobra as I struggled to survive. Someone took my face. Clearly. Could I have somehow travelled through time? Since awakening, I've suddenly questioned him on many occasions. It's clear they have no knowledge of these events. Speaking with the rest of you now, it's also become apparent that most of those present now have just arrived. The only possible explanation then is this. The monarch smiling that appeared to me that day both was and was not the one who had just arrived at the sect. You what? I believe the answer to this lies in the artifact I was given. This fragment is likely a part of the legendary artifact known as the Box of Non-Existence. You what? In the chaos that is heaven and earth, existence emerges from non-existence. When an immortal achieves insight to the secrets of the heavens, they may use such a box to contain the principles of the world and enhance them with rare treasures from all under heaven. This allows them to even reverse the course of the sun and the moon and seize the very primordial essence of the world. That box is none other than the legendary box of non-existence. It follows the principle of the interplay between existence and non-existence. In the realm of heaven and earth, all that is here represents existence. 
the ability to contain all such things is non-existence. The two complement one another and form a whole of the natural laws we refer to as the Tao. Fortunately, I was already aware of the possibility of such an artifact's existence and its potential uses due to my studies in the sect. As legend tells it, whoever has the box can create a field similar to that of a mystic realm. By gathering rare spiritual plants within it, they can utilize the principle of creation, rising from non-existence to transcend time and space. Okay. So this artifact is why you've been asking us to find and grow stuff. Okay. The hidden blessed land within the Misty Valley is actually a cave created by the sect in imitation of such a field. At present, we've obtained three of the six treasures we need. The Sovereign Cactus, Fruit, the Dragon's Blood, and the Phoenix S. I have more if you, if you need it, you know. Unfortunately, I've not been able to gather any sure information about the remaining ones. There are rumours regarding them in the lands around the Molten Paths, Frostbound Descent, and, and the Xerxia Palace, but that is all. As for the clues of how to actually create the box of non-existence, I have only this fragment I was given. It feels as if the task of saving the sect is still far out of reach. Don't worry, Brother She, we have proof that Brother Monarch was able to traverse time. Yeah, just... Okay. No problems. Oh my god. This was such a mission to push towards getting these three things unlocked. Holy crap. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. It seems we found our direction then. Still, haste will net us nothing. For now, we need to calm ourselves and rest before we begin to grapple with this on the morrow. Saving the sect is not something we'll accomplish in a single night. All we can do is advance step by step. Yeah, amen. Well said. Thumbs up. Oh my god. That is a lot of quests that were just accepted. Molten paths, frostbound descent, eastern sunset, forest, Zershaw mystic realm. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. We're getting somewhere now, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, I'm going to leave this one here. Extremely long, this. I didn't think it would take this long to get to the unlocking point of these new realms. But here we are. So next episodes are going to be, obviously, all the realms. Probably one at a time, because each one of them is long as hell. So we'll see what happens regardless. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out Gujian 3 playthrough, because that is an absolutely amazing game. But as always, have a great day.